Hey guys, this video is going to be about aligning selections and splitting selections in Helix. So let me just show you this here. I just want to move my cursor here and then I want to create multiple cursors with Shift C. And now, of course, I can move them with Shift W. And now if I press ampersand or the and sign, I guess, then I can align my selection here. See, now it's aligned. And what's important here is this action only cares about aligning the head, so the cursor. It does not care about the rest of the selection. It only cares about the cursor, i.e. the head of the selection. Yeah, and that's one way to align stuff. So let me now show you a different way. So here I have this table I want to align and I can just select the table with, uh, in this case, 6x. You can also do m, i, p, for example. And then I want to align this. And I do that by basically splitting my selection uh, into, uh, into each individual line. So right now, as you can see, my selection is six lines. But now I basically want to split my selection on the new line. And I do that by pressing Alt S. Do you see it? Now I have all these cursors. So now I have basically six selections instead of one. And now if I press ampersand again, I will align the cursors, i.e. The, the head of the selection, and the table will be aligned properly. So now I press ampersand, and there we go. Now I have this nice table here. Let me just unindent this, and yeah. So yeah, that's how alignment works, guys. That's it for this video. See you in the next video. Bye.